Illustrative math, geometry, unit one, lesson 12 is called defining translations. All right, so our goals today are I can describe a translation by stating the pre-image and the directed line segment. I can determine whether a figure is a translation of another and I can draw translations of figures. So the first thing that we need to learn is this new word called a <clears throat> directed line segment. So it kind of looks like a ray. So if I look here at this, this right here, it, it looks like directed, it lo looks like ray AB. Okay, so, you know, you think of it like ray AB, but the difference between a ray and a directed line segment is that a ray goes on forever. So if this was ray AB, it would continue going on forever in this direction. Okay, but it's not a ray. It's a directed line segment. It's a segment. You can think of it like segment AB, <clears throat> just like that. But the difference is we're going from A to B. So it's like this little point right here moves from A to B in that direction. Okay, so it's, it's not going on forever, but I'm not moving from B to A. I'm not moving this way. That's wrong. I'm moving from A to to be in that direction of the arrow, and I'm ending right there, okay? <clears throat> so I call that directed line segment AB. Um, there's no real symbol for it. Um, usually we just write it all out. So let's see here, a translation. Let's look at this definition of a translation. A translation is defined using the directed line segment. It takes a point to another point so that the directed line segment from the original point to the image is parallel to the given line segment and has the same length and direction. So in the figure here, A prime is the image of A under the translation given by the directed line segment T, okay? So if you notice here, I go from A to A prime right there. So this directed line segment is going to, this, this translation is the same length and the same direction, so it's parallel. So if I were to take this, this um, directed line segment right here, I'll do my best to trace it. Really, I could translate any point, like let's say I have point B right here, and I wanna translate B by directed line segment T. All I do is I basically move this directed line segment right there, and there's my B prime. So it's almost like I took this point right here, and it moved right there, okay? So parallel to the directed line segment and also the same length, okay? So this is your sentence frame for any translation. Um, I'm gonna use this picture below. Translate, you need to put your figure here. So I'm gonna say A, B, C, D. And when you name a, a a quadrilateral, we always have to go in order. We have to go A to B to C like that, okay? Or I could go the other way. I just, I can't skip around. I can't go like A, C, B, D, okay? I can't can't go out of order, okay? <clears throat> um, so there's my figure. I'm gonna translate it by directed line segment W. Now you notice here, directed line segment W is not attached to the figure. That's okay. It's almost as if I were to you know, clone a bunch of these and put them at the points. So let me do that. Let me move these here to each point. But what you should notice here is that these are all parallel and they're all moving the same exact distance. So if I move this right here to A, B, C, and D, here's my new points here. This is gonna obviously be A prime this is going to be B prime, this is going to be C prime, and this is going to be, nope, that's, that's not it, that's the original, that's W, whoops, this is going to be D prime. So when I sketch this thing here, it'll look something like that, okay? So there's my translation, and you can kind of see here if I were to trace this thing, pardon my, <laughs> let me redo that. That was terrible.
all right, there's my picture. And look, if I just take one point, the whole thing moves, okay? And obviously it's not perfect because my tracing with this little pen that I'm using is not, not the best, but you guys get the idea there of a translation, it's a slide. All right, what do you notice? What do you wonder? Um, go ahead, pause the video, try to come up with some stuff. I'll start typing here. Um, I would say it looks like the yellow triangle is a translation of the blue triangle by directed line segment P. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like it turns or anything. Looks like it's basically just a translation of that. So, you know, if I were to take this directed line segment right here, and let's do this, let's clone a couple of these. So they're the exact same distance, same length, same direction. You can see that definitely is, um, especially with the arrow. So we know enough there to say that this would probably, we would probably call this C prime, probably call this D prime and this F prime because F prime would be the image of F. D prime would be the image of D. C prime would be the image of C. C, D, F, we would call that the pre-image. Okay, so just a quick review. This is called the image and this is called the pre-image. Or sometimes it's called the original, but I like image and pre-image better. Okay. All right, so after a translation, the image of V is W. List at least three other points that are taken to a label point by that translation. Okay, so let's let's do some um, arrows here. So the image of V is W. So I need to go from V to W right there. So here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just take this same arrow. Now, you when you do this, you're obviously not going to have like a cool, um, you know, program to, to draw your stuff in, but you can use tracing paper and you can draw your, your segment with a ruler and then trace it on the tracing paper and you can kind of slide it around kind of like I'm doing here. So I'm going to just move this arrow around until I find one that's there. So, oh, there's, there's one L to I. So find at least three other points that are taken to a label point. So L to I. Looks good. Let's clone that. Let's find another one. How about M to J? Does that, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. M to J. And let's find another one. Z to Y. Okay. Right, at least one conjecture about translations. So it looks like they move the same distance and it looks like they're all parallel too. So if I were to extend these lines, you know, like here, if I were to make this into a longer line right there, same thing right here. So I got to move it so it's a little bit more on. You can see that these look like they're parallel. Um, so get rid of those. But here we go. Um, translations move the same distance and in a parallel direction. So this is really important. I would um, make sure that you write this down somewhere, circle it. Very important. Translations move in the same direction, um, the same distance and in a parallel direction. All right, number three, in a new translation, the image of V is Z. So let's get a new color here. The image of V is Z. So I got to find V. The image of V is Z. Where is Z? Oh, here it is. Oh, you know what? I need an, I need an arrow here. Let's go back here. I guess I'll use black. All right. So the image of V is Z. Find at least three other points that are taken the same way. So Uh, how about H to R? All 
about G2S. Let's see here, where's another one? There's a good one, D2N. So it has to be D to N, it can't be N to D because your arrow, we were going from V to Z. Are your conjectures true? Do they look like they all go the same distance? Yes. Do they look like they go parallel? Yes. Okay. Um, if you wanted me to measure it to show you that they're the same distance, I mean, I could do that here with this thing, with this ruler here. Uh, let's change this here. So let's see here. That's like four and a half centimeters roughly, but it's not. Yeah, four and a half. About the same there, four and a half. You can see that they're all four and a half. Okay, so um, same distance and they clearly look like they're parallel. So your answer here would be yes. All right, translate triangle ABC by the directed line segment from A to C. So my directed line segment will look like this from A to C. So I would, um, if I were doing this, I would, on paper, I would draw that segment. I'd maybe use tracing paper and I would kind of try to slide it in a parallel motion as best I can. Obviously, A prime is going to be at C. This will be my B prime. And this is my A prime right here. And then if I take another point from C, this is going to be my C prime right here. So this would be my, my new triangle. Okay, so there it is. Um, so let's answer these questions. What is the relationship between line segment BC and B prime C prime? Um, so B C B C is right here, and B prime C prime. I would say those are congruent, and they are parallel. Okay, congruent and parallel. How does the length of segment BC compare to the length of segment B prime C prime? Congruent, I already answered that. All right, translate segment DE by directed line segment W. Label the new endpoints as D prime and E prime. Okay, so I'll just trace this directed line segment. And here's my new points. This will be D prime, E prime, and then I will connect them. And there it is. Okay. So what kind of shape did you draw? Well, it looks like we have a parallelogram. How do I know that? Well, this is going to stay parallel to this because everything moves in a parallel direction and these are moving um, in a parallel direction because everything is parallel to direct line segment w so we can definitely say that that it's a parallelogram so what properties does it have well i could say that de is obviously congruent to oh, this must be prime D prime, E prime, and I can say that D, D prime is congruent to E, E prime, okay? So we could mark these as congruent, these as congruent here. So these are parallel with the arrows. Um, two arrows, two arrows, that means that these are parallel to each other, and then one arrow, one arrow, those are parallel, and then these are congruence, um, congruency marks as well.
All right, so given a line and a point off the line, there's a unique parallel line that goes through the point. Translations take lines to parallel lines or to themselves. Okay, so when it says or to themselves, like I guess if I had this segment right here, say this segment was like, I already used A, I, I guess I shouldn't use A. Let's say this segment was D, F. If I translate anywhere along this line here, then, you know, it's my new, my translated point is going to be um, moving parallel. Okay, so if I translate this way or this way or this way, everything's moving parallel, but I can also move it along this line too. So I could translate it to itself and things like that, okay? So parallel posture, like given a line M and a point A that is not on line M, there is exactly one line that goes through A that is parallel to M. So basically this line here is the only parallel line to M that goes through A. Okay, there's not more than one line that goes through there. So when it says line, I guess I should have arrows on here. Line M and line A, okay. All right, um, I think this is the last thing here. Yep, last slide. So um, Priya tried to translate triangle ABC by the direct of the line segment from D to E. She knows that something went wrong because the image isn't congruent to the original figure. What is one idea that Priya probably understands about translations? Um, let's see here. If I look here, I got 3.5, 3.5, 3.5. I would say that she probably understands that translations preserve distance or translations move the same distance. What is one idea that she probably doesn't understand? And I would say that translations move all points in a parallel direction. Okay, because if you look here, this one, this, I mean, th these two are good right here. If you look at A to A prime and B to B prime, those look like they're parallel, um, parallel to D. E, but it's this one here that's not parallel. You can see it's kind of crooked there, okay? So translate triangle ABC by the direct line segment from D to E. So um, I'm going to trace this. And again, use that tracing paper if you have some. If you don't have some, get online, order it. I don't know if you can find it at the store, but I'm sure you can definitely find it online. It's, it's not expensive. It makes life so much easier when you're doing this on paper. Um, if you're in my classroom, I will. I have some. I will give it to you. But here we go. Here's my B prime. Here's my C prime. And here's my A prime. And I'll just connect these. And there we go. All right. And you can kind of tell here if you want to trace the original. And do your translation. You can just take one point, translate it. Should be a pretty good, pretty good copy of it. Okay. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.